And now it's time to learn how to recolor a black and white photo. Before you begin, make a copy of the background layer, Command J, and rename it Image. Go ahead and make this image completely black and white. I know that it's already in black and white, but sometimes it's nice to start with a completely black and white photo. And you'll see that there is a difference between the two. That way you're sure that you're getting the pure color when you use your blending modes. You'll notice that I went to image and adjustments to do this. The reason why I did that is because I wanted this adjustment to affect only this layer instead of all the layers below it. If I would have used this black and white, it would have added an adjustment layer and it would have affected all of the layers instead of just this one that I wanted. And then if I turn that off, then I have my original. So that's why I did that. Want to make the black and white adjustment on my image layer. The way that we're gonna do this is select certain parts of the body or the picture and color them by the color that you're gonna be using. So for example, first I'm going to select with my quick selection tool, the arms and the legs. And you'll notice that it hugged around all that was this color. Unfortunately, it also grabbed the white here. So if I zoom in, then I can press Alt and it makes a minus sign in my circle and I can take out some of the selection that I wanna take out. And if I back up a little bit, it looks good now. Go ahead and do the other leg and I'm just clicking and dragging and every time I click and drag, it adds to the selection and it looks like I need to subtract even more. And if your selection isn't perfect when you're finished selecting, that's okay. There's something you can do after we're finished with this part to help you with your selection. And if I wanna get into this tiny little spot right there, I can make my brush size smaller by using the brackets on your keyboard. If you go too far, you can always go back into your history. If you wanna go back more than one, you can select several. All right, we're just gonna do the arms and legs. They will be the same color. And you might think, well, why don't we just do the face right away too, because it will be the same color. And I'll explain that here in just a moment. What you wanna do is come down to create new fill layer, and you want a solid color fill layer. And it's made my baby look really strange here. So let's fix that. This is a guess on what a good skin color will look like. It seems like something around here usually looks pretty good. And you might think, well, that really doesn't look very good. But just a minute, hang with me. This is where we use our blending mode skills. So you go into your blending modes and we're gonna use, well, you can try out all of them, but the ones that usually work pretty well are overlay or soft light or color. And it kind of depends on the color you're using as to which one looks best. Sometimes even the multiply one will work for you. Um, so let's go ahead and test all those. Multiply is not what we want. Overlay looks pretty good. Soft light mm, maybe looks better. And then there's color and that makes my baby look orange. I think maybe my best option is soft light and I'm gonna actually change the color again so you just double click your color icon and then you can change the color and you can see what the color is changing to as you change it and I think my problem is that the skin tone looks a little yellow so I'm gonna drag it down toward the red until I feel like it looks right 
Again, this is just kind of a guessing game. You can mess around with these colors. You can even play around with making an alien baby and see what that would look like. But try to get a good skin color just so that you have good practice on finding skin color. And I think that looks pretty good. Before you move on, go ahead and rename your layer. <laughs> 